she wants a young American. It's all right. She wants a young American. Hundreds of people here, Eva, celebrating David and all would like to hug him, but he's gone. What are your thoughts watching these crazy and wonderful people out here? Oh, I love them. I love it. I, Liverpool has been so sweet and so nice. And um, their appreciation of David makes me in awe of the influence that David had over everyone. That once you knew his music and got to know him a little bit better, that you just couldn't help but fall in love with him. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? I love that song from David. Was it written for you? Uh, David's diary says so, written for A. But, and we were together during that time. Uh, so I think probably yes. Great. Did you have contact with him later on? Uh, well, you know, his wife, Iman, I knew her before they got married, before they, way before they got married. She used to be on the scene. We would all be at parties. And uh, so I didn't want to come off as someone who was a spoiler. Or, so I, I, I made myself very scarce because I didn't know how we would be taken and I didn't want it to be taken in the wrong way. I was happy for him to fall in love with someone else because you can love more than one person in your life, you know? But I knew he loved me. <laughs> Great. What are your memories about David Sanborn? Oh, man, I'm sad when you say his name because he was such a brilliant saxos, saxophone player. And I'm going to tell you something. Every single night he got a standing ovation. Every night. There was not a show we did where he didn't get a standing ovation. And David would just be looking at him in awe because all he'd do is go, David Sanborn, and Wah! and everybody be. And he deserved it because he was a really, really super, super genius saxophonist. And he was a nice guy. He was one of those people that didn't get all involved in, you know, gossip or whatever. He just w did his job and we hardly saw him on the social scene. But when you did see him, he was always wonderful. I, I miss him. Rest in power, my brother. Great man. Yeah. My last question. Your advice for a young artist. Okay, that's interesting because I have a lot of advice for young artists. I mean, young artists trying to be writers, producers, what? Any, all of the above? Musician. A musician. I would say, if you really know that you have a talent, you go for it. You don't let anybody stop you. You don't let anything get in the way of your art. That's a relationship or whatever it happens to be. You just go for it. Because if you don't, You're going to lose out. You got to believe in yourself always. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I said, oh, maybe I should get out and whatever. And, I, and I, then I just got, I just picked myself up, dusted myself off and started all over again. And of course I had my mom, my parents, don't you stop. You can't stop now. You've been doing it too long. And so I say, you got to know though. I mean, you, you know, whether you really have talent. And if you don't have any, well, I'm going to say maybe you won't make it, but you got to believe in yourself and then you will see from other people whether they feel the general public that you have talent. But don't give up. That's the, that's the key. Once you give up, it's over. Once you give up, it's over. There's so many artists out there right now that were great. And now they're afraid to come back in and, and, and reinvent themselves and go outside of the box. That's what you got to do. So I'm just saying, keep your heart and soul and your honesty to yourself and your music and you'll, and you, and you'll succeed. Right. Thank you, Eva.
Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. <lacht> oh, ich, ich liebe dich. <lacht> So also, for you wonderful people from Germany, I have a new record that just got released about a week ago, five days ago. It's called Fire, and it's Ava Cherry, and it's on all mediums, everything, iTunes, everything, Spotify. So please get it. It's called Fire. Okay, thank you. <laughs>